Hello friends, in this video we will know about the chamfer tool. Chamfer tool is used to remove material from the edges of a part. So it is similar to the round command. So we can find this chamfer tool in the engineering section. Right now it is hidden. So first we will have to create a part. So I go to the extrude tool, placement and select this top plane, sketch view. Once again I draw a central rectangle, give it some dimensions, suppose I can take this value 150 and the second value I take 100, press enter and click ok. Give it some height, suppose I give this height 35 and click ok. And now in this chamfer we have two options, edge chamfer and corner chamfer. So I start with this edge chamfer and now we have to select the edge or a chain of edges onto which we want to create the chamfer. Suppose I select this edge, I rotate it to the front view and zoom in onto this part. We can see the edge is replaced by two edges and the value of this distance we can control it by going to this dimension dialog box. We have d by d, d1 by d2, angle 45 and dimension offset value suppose I select this value D and D the distance in both the sides is similar so this is called symmetric type of chamfer so I select this D cross D insert this value 10 and click OK so we have created the chamfer once again I rotate it to the front view go to this chamfer and edit definition zoom in onto this chamfer we can select different values of the chamfer. Suppose I select this D1 and D2. For D1, I take this value 15. And now we can see this value has been changed to 15. And the second value we can take 20. Press enter and click OK. So this way we can insert the chamfers. Just like in the round tool, we can select cham multiple chamfer at a single time by using the sets option. So I go to this chamfer, click on the sets, select this first stage and to insert the multiple chamfer we can select new set and select the second edge. Now for the second edge we can select different value of the chamfer. Suppose I take this value 10, for the first chamfer I can take this value 5 and click OK. Now in the chamfer we see we have two options. I select the chamfer and edit definition these options are okay these value are for distance there's another option in which we have to specify an angle and distance and there's option for offset so what is the difference between offset and this distance to understand this in more deeply we go to a part I go to another part now in this part we have created a chamfer and then we have created a draft so first of all I select this draft, click on this edit definition, I insert this value 0, press enter and click OK. And we have created a chamfer, I go to the chamfer, edit definition. Now it is D by D chamfer and this is at the offset of 20. And this is at the value of 20, I click OK. I go to the sketch part and go to the edit definition, go to the sketch view. Now we can see we have two type of chamfer D by D and O by O that is offset and distance. Since the draft value is zero both type of chamfer are same. So I can click OK from here and then I go to this draft tool, edit definition, I insert this value 10 degree and click OK and once again I go to the sketch, sketch view. Now in this chamfer, what we see is that when we create a D by D chamfer, this D by D chamfer is always will be parallel to the edges. So this chamfer is now parallel to this type of chamfer and this chamfer is now parallel to this top horizontal chamfer. But in case of O by O chamfer that is offset chamfer. So to understand this offset chamfer what do we do? is that I select this chamfer 
edit definition and I select this offset chamfer. Similar value I take 20 and click OK. Go to the sketch and sketch and edit definition. Now in case of offset chamfer we can see the reference lines are highlighting with this blue color light blue color. The offset reference and the edge will always be perpendicular to each other. You can see this blue color line and this edge are perpendicular to each other and this distance is 20. Similarly for this offset on this vertical side we can see these two edges are perpendicular to each other. So that is a difference between distance type of chamfer and offset type of chamfer. I click OK from here and once again I go to our part. Now in the chamfer we have one more setting. I go to this chamfer, add a definition and go to the sets option. There is option for offset and surfaces. Offset surface and tangent distance. Now to understand this concept of offset surface and tangent distance, we go to another part. I click OK from here. Now in this part, we have a curved surface. So what do I do? I go to the chamfer tool, click on this edge chamfer, click this edge, insert this value 30 and first I select, ok I select this offset chamfer and go to the sets option. I select offset surface and click OK. Go to this sketch and edit definition. Go to this sketch view. Now I zoom in onto this part. When we create the offset type of chamfer, we see the intersection of this chamfer is according to the intersection of the offset value. We can see this edge and this offset reference are perpendicular to each other. And from the intersection of these two references, we calculate the value of distance or the value of offset. But if I switch the chamfer to the tangent, I select this chamfer and this time I select the option for tangent distance. The value I can take, I take this value 30 and click OK and zoom in onto this part. So when we select the tangent option, the reference it takes is a tangent to the surfaces. Now we see the reference is now, it is going tangent to the surface and tangent to the surface. And at the intersection, we calculate the value of distance of this chamfer. So that is the difference between these two type of chamfer. So once again, I go to this chamfer tool, select a chamfer. Now in this chamfer, we have some more options such as transition chamfer. To understand this concept of transition chamfer, what we do, I zoom in onto this part, hold down the control key, select this first stage, let me take this lesser value, suppose I take this value 5, let me take this value 10, hold down the control key, select the second edge and this third edge. Now we have intersection of three edges. So we can insert this some well lesser value. Suppose I select this value 5. It is good. Now since there is a intersection of different chamfers, we can use another option that is transition chamfer. I select this transition chamfer. Click switch to transition mode. Now in this transition, we have to select the common surface or the common edge in all these three parts. So I zoom in onto this part and we can see this edge is common. So I select this edge. When I select this edge, we can see the options are highlighting in this menu. I click on this arrow. We have default intersection, patch and corner plane. By default, it will take this shape of the edge of the intersecting edge. I select this option to patch and now we can see the change in the chamfer shape and we can select the reference for this and then there is an option for corner plane. So right now I am taking it as a default for default intersection and click OK. So now we can see the shape of chamfer when the, all these three edges are, are intersecting. Another option 
for creating the chamfer at the intersection of edges is corner chamfer. So I click on this arrow, we have corner chamfer. I select this option. Now placement tab is highlighting. So we have to select a corner. I click on this corner edge. And now we can see, we can control this chamfer by three dimensions because this chamfer is going with respect to three edges. This is the first edge, suppose I select this value 10. We can take same value or different values that is according to our requirements. Suppose I take this value 10 and once again this is 10 and click OK. So this way we can insert the corner type of chamfer.